season for Christmas cards. You probably get plenty of them from family and friends, classic with family photos. But not everyone is as traditional. Uh, Steve Harris shows us how a set of twins created their own unconventional tradition. Yeah. It all started in 1983 with this Polaroid camera and these identical twins, David and Kevin McFarland. He's three minutes older than I am, so I'm the, I'm the baby. Or Kevin and David McFarland, I honestly can't remember which is which. We just took a picture, goofy picture for our buddies in college, we all left for school and then all of a sudden. That picture became the first of 40 years worth of Christmas cards they began sending to friends and family. He started falling off the roof, he started getting electrocuted. We, we got into Bush Stadium and, and, then, and then so on, so we tried to make a, make a little fun out of it. When their kids came along, the cards got more elaborate. Then we had brushes with greatness with uh, the great Stan Usual and legendary Coach Statham, Coach Glenn Schott, three-time state championship at Altoff, and Greg Lieb. Now, the cards have made them local celebrities as well. One year, it was a pack of baseball cards, complete with gum. Another, it was a box of Cracker Jack. The surprise inside, a tattoo of his son's wedding. A Monopoly game, movie tickets, during COVID, hand sanitizer. You always try to, to, to better the next year. You know, what, what'd you do last year? We gotta do something better this year, and you don't wanna do it. So this year's card, their 40th anniversary card, is an NCAA-inspired bracket where friends and relatives get to pick their favorite card from over the years. And uh, there's Fred Bird. So what's their favorite? Is joining with our kids. Here's Colin on a card, and this is Colin now. You know, real good memories that I can think of, you know, whole family being together. We've had the one with Steve and Channel 4 is a special there you go. We're going to have right one. Yeah. We're going to be on the list. Now that's one I can't wait to see. Steve Harris, News 4.